you might be curious at what kind of stuff we're eating and where we're eating well, we're here. Well, we're taking a more of a self-catering approach since we have a really nice kitchen with nice premises, knives, dishes, etc. So we're all sorted. And we've just been cooking stuff. So for breakfast, my family usually has some bread, some eggs, or like some cereal, standard stuff. Then like lunch is just fruit, nuts, some baked stuff usually. And then dinner is a big carb. So either pasta, potatoes, or we also had rice. Then we mix that with veg, cook it in a big pot. And we have it for like a day or two, depending on how often we eat it and we, if we all eat it at once. So it's pretty handy. And I'll show you the dish we cooked up last night. As you can see, there's rice, some spices, onion, carrot, zucchini, pepper. This is it. It's quite simple, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Then as part of the veg, we have cauliflower right here. We have fruit here, some nuts there. Um, don't mind those things at the back. And the fridge right now. We have cheese mayonnaise, beer, ketchup, hummus, great stuff, jam, butter, milk, wine, beer, orange juice, carrot, zucchini, um, the gherkin, tomato, cheese, aloe vera. And here we have cornflakes, rice, and some pasta sauce. And lastly, in the pot here we have a nice tomato soup cooking up. As you can see, you can eat pretty cheaply and pretty humbly in Spain. All those dishes were quite simple quick and cheap to brew up and it tastes amazing but also we're planning to eat out probably maybe today tomorrow and the day after like in a cafe or a restaurant so yeah we're going to get best of both worlds worlds curious about prices of any of these things just question me i'll answer right below so let me fill you in on uh, what's happening well we just crossed that little stream there and if you see Miramar Shopping Centre is there, our hotel is there, and we're going to the dust stores and that shopping area there. It's absolutely wonderful. In that shopping area you can find little um, Iceland, Decathlon, like two pet stores, a few more stores, and there's just so much choice. We just came from that path, there is a bridge. And now you have a little here and we're approaching the roundabout right there. Just keep on going straight to go to the retail park. These are the main shops in the retail park. The Catalan is a super great sports world. Iceland is like a British supermarket. You find a lot of people from the UK there. And the rest are just kind of like more home stores plus two pet shops too. And yeah, we're walking along the roofed pathway and it's absolutely beautiful yeah that shopping area is great for just your random stuff that you don't really find in the small shops in town like we got a lot of baked goods we got bread buns and my parents and family got donuts we also were going to buy a pineapple but like it wasn't ripe and what else did we got we got we got orange juice so perfect oh yeah and i got i got this big ass hiking bag Great stuff, 50 liters. Yeah.
So on the south side of the complex, and the south side is the side facing the sea, which is there, you have a huge sports center. And up there you have the amazing mountains, the water park, and the shopping centers. Little is right there, that building, those stores. And yeah, it's a great view.